What's up guys? Alright, this is my first video in quite a while. Um, but I'm just going to do a little walk around of the Forester and kind of a little update. Um, it's been a hell of a long time. So, let's get to it. So, not much has been done to the car for quite a while. I've been kind of just saving money, just kind of chilling out, um, enjoying the car. But, here it is as it sits. Um, really nothing much has changed since... I think the last time I videoed this car, but I'm not 100% sure. Here's a good shot of the wheels too. As a lot of you guys know, um, it is STI swap. Um, everything is STI except the transmission. I still have yet to six-speed swap it. Eventually in the future I want to. Um, probably when my five-speed blows up. But I currently have the 4.44 uh, five-speed from like a Forcer XT or Baja XT or any any of the XTs. Um, and my whole swap is from 2005. Here's a good look. Um, I've done a few things in the engine bay to clean it up since the last time I've had it. Um, the uh, I put this Grim Speed cover on and I did paint um, my uh, coolant overflow, my w wiper fluid reservoir, and my uh, fuse box in uh, wrinkled black and it actually came out really clean. Um, and if I want to see the level, guess what? All I got to do is look inside. I get a lot of people <laughs> talking shit about that and it's like literally just open the cap, people. But, um, same with the coolant. I mean, shouldn't be having coolant issues. I mean, a car is going to burn a little coolant once in a while, but really you shouldn't be running out of coolant. But that is my engine bay. The car has been great. It really doesn't give me issues. Actually, my daily, which is a uh, 2003 uh, SG, so Forester, um, it is actually blew a head gasket. My own fault, but, uh, yeah, so... This thing's actually going to be my daily for a little while until I fix that. But uh, hopefully in a couple weeks I can re replace that head gasket. So, um, but yeah, the car drives great, runs great. Uh, really doesn't give me issues, um, which is really nice. And I, I built it so it wouldn't. I put a lot of work into it when I did the swap. So um, kind of makes sense. But it's still nice to have a turbo Subaru treat you right. have any mod suggestions let me know i'm thinking about doing like bucket seats um i think it would be really fun in the interior and it would look really good um i kind of want i've been wanting to do a starlight headliner for years now and i keep procrastinating i was going to do it this summer but uh, that obviously has not happened yet yet but um yeah let me know mod suggestions and what you think would look good on this car because i'm really up in air um i'm not trying to spend a ton of money all the time on it because i've once again, I've been kind of chilling out on spending money on the car, but I still like modifying it and I still like working on it. So, um, as long as it's not like engine related, cause right now I'm happy with the power I'm at and I, I'm not trying to dump 30,000 into a Subaru cause I'm getting close to that already. So, um, yeah, I guess kind of another, uh, mod that I guess I have done since the last time I videoed this Forester, um, is I put JDM clear corners on in the front of the headlights. So you'll probably see that in some of the clips. Um, they're pretty clean. It just takes out the amber for the turn signal, but um, it, it makes a big difference. To get into a little details, um, my wheels are uh, 18 by nine and a half plus 35. Um, pretty typical specs for a Forester. Um, a lot of people run that. It's, it's like bread and butter for these things. Um, and for Subarus in general, really. Nine and a half, thirty-five is pretty, pretty money. You can make it fit pretty good, and it looks pretty good. Um, Fitment-wise, it's great. I don't really rub. I have a two thirty-five forty tire on it, so um, a little stretched, but not really. Um, but I really don't need any more grip. Um, I don't chirp tires or anything with this car. So, uh, fitment-wise and handling-wise, I love it, um, and they look great too. Actually, the biggest difference with the car is um, I have a tow mate now, so I guess I will show you that. Um, I did make a video uh, kind of about it, but I never finished it, so um, I probably should finish that, but 
this is the best you guys are getting right now. So let me show you that Tomei because it looks pretty good. So this is the Tomei. Um, it is a WRX Tomei. Um, it is unmodified. So as you can see, I don't have the middle hanger connected at all. So I just have the muffler hanger and then the uh, mid pipe hanger. And then it's obviously connected down to my down pipe. But um, as you can see, it looks pretty damn good. And if you're wondering, because if you are a Forster owner, you know that WX exhausts don't uh, sit flush or stick out from the bumper of the Forsters. So you're probably wondering, why does mine? If, if it's unmodified, and I will show you that in a second. I am a welder, and so because of that, I made a custom uh, three inch uh, stainless steel kind of spacer um, that bolts in between my downpipe and the tome. So I didn't have to modify the tome at all. Um, even though I can weld titanium, I just didn't want to uh, cut up my thousand dollar exhaust. So, and I figured if I ever wanted to sell it, it would be a lot easier to sell it as a stock tome instead of a modified one. Um, and so I made a four inch long, uh, three inch diameter spacer um, that just bolts up stainless and it's really nice and let me see if i can get under the car and show you so there it is that is my downpipe there and then the four inch long spacer i made to the tome so it basically it just bolts in and that's about it so pretty simple part to make but um there's nothing really out on the market like this so i just decided to make my own um which is pretty simple as i'm could weld it up and fabricate it myself. One wondering, I have maybe four, five inches of ground clearance for my exhaust, but I don't really scrape it at all. So, uh, pretty lucky. But that is the Tome under the Forester. A little shot of the interior and a cockpit view. So, here's my swap number 1387. And uh, I really love this STI wheel. I want to get a damn D steering wheel, um, but those are like 600 bucks and it's kind of expensive for a steering wheel, but I love this STI wheel. Um, it made such a big difference in the interior. Um, you got my access port, my gauges. They're kind of broken. I should get better ones, uh, probably AEM if I were to, but yeah, and this is what I'm saying about bucket seats because the stock Forster seats, they actually kind of hold me good. Like, I'm not going to lie, but they're ugly as all get out. Now, I want to do that Starlight Headliner because I've also got the tan interior, which I hate. So, eventually I've always wanted to get gray and black interior, maybe paint it or get the JDM stuff, but... I don't even want to know how much that would be. And I did swap the door cards out for uh, black and gray ones, but um, which do look a lot better. Let's get a start up.
enjoyed that little video. Um, it's not much, but I figured I should probably put something on my channel because I haven't done one in probably a year or so. I don't even know. It's been a long time. So, um, and a decent amount has changed on the car, so I figured I should update. Um, and I might start making more videos because actually I really like my camera on my iPhone. So, we will see. But anyways, see ya.